There is no doubt that SpaceX is now the most dominant space company out there, breaking records one after another. They are so far ahead of the competition that they are now surpassing their own milestones. In this video, we are going to discuss one such record-breaking achievement. Before we dive any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about Starship and other groundbreaking accomplishments. SpaceX has been exceptionally active with its Falcon 9 and Starship programs. As of June 2024, SpaceX has conducted over 344 Falcon 9 launches since its debut in June 2010. In the early years, SpaceX barely managed one or two launches per year. For instance, the first successful Falcon 9 launch was on June 4, 2010, followed by the second on December 8, 2010. By 2012, the launch rate had increased slightly. But it wasn't until recent years that the frequency of launches skyrocketed. Interestingly, during the pandemic, many companies struggled to continue their operations, and some even completely stopped. But when you look at SpaceX, their prime years were in the pandemic. That was the time they started launching dozens of rockets per year. In 2020, SpaceX managed to complete 26 launches, despite the global disruptions. This was a significant increase from the previous years, where their launch cadence was much lower. In 2019, for instance, they only completed 13 launches. The following year, 2021, saw SpaceX nearly doubling their launch count, with 31 successful missions. This momentum continued to build, and in 2022, they shattered their previous records by completing 61 launches, nearly doubling the previous year's total. Before SpaceX set its new records, the previous record holder for the most launches in a single year was the Soviet Union, which achieved 101 launches in 1980. In 2023, SpaceX broke its own record again, achieving 98 launches, which included 91 Falcon 9 launches and 5 Falcon Heavy launches. The biggest reason for SpaceX's fast launch cadence is the reusability of their rockets, particularly the Falcon 9 first stage boosters. This revolutionary approach has significantly reduced the cost and time required for each launch. Reusability in SpaceX's rockets began with the Falcon 9, which was designed from the outset to be partially reusable. The first successful landing of a Falcon 9 booster occurred on December 21, 2015. Since then, SpaceX has refined its reusability technology. The Falcon 9 Block 5, the latest version of the rocket, is designed for rapid reuse with minimal refurbishment. Each booster can be flown up to 10 times with only minor maintenance and up to 100 times with more significant refurbishment. The record for the most flights by a single booster is currently held by B-1051, which has flown 15 times. The company has also set new records for turnaround times. For instance, a recent Falcon 9 mission achieved the fastest drone ship turnaround to date, with the booster recovery ship a shortfall of Gravitas turning around in just over three days. The cost savings from reusability are substantial. SpaceX President Gwynne Shotwell has stated that reusing the first stage can reduce launch costs by up to 30%. Given that the list price of a Falcon 9 launch is about $62 million, this translates to savings of approximately $18.6 million per launch. If SpaceX passes these savings to its customers, the cost per launch could be reduced to about $43.4 million. With over 300 successful booster recoveries, these savings add up significantly. For example, if SpaceX saves $18.6 million per launch on 300 launches, the total savings would be around $5.5 billion. The ability to quickly refurbish and reuse boosters allows SpaceX to shorten the turnaround time between launches. This capability has enabled them to achieve an unprecedented launch cadence, sometimes launching rockets just days apart. The Falcon 9 rocket itself has evolved through multiple versions, each improving on the previous one. The current iteration, Falcon 9 Block 5, is designed for rapid reusability and has flown as many as 21 flights with a single booster. This version of the rocket can carry up to 22,800 kilograms to low Earth orbit and up to 8,300 kilograms to geostationary transfer orbit, making it one of the most reliable rockets in operation today. 
In just the first half of 2024, SpaceX completed 57 Falcon 9 missions. However, it's not only the Falcon 9 that is achieving new milestones. SpaceX is making even more progress with their Starship rocket. The Starship program saw significant developments in 2023, with several key orbital launch tests. The first orbital test flight of Starship took place in April 2023, although it ended prematurely due to an issue with the vehicle's main engines. Despite this setback, the data collected from the flight provided invaluable insights that informed subsequent tests. In August 2023, SpaceX conducted a second orbital test, which successfully reached orbit but experienced issues during re-entry. Each of these tests contributed to the iterative improvement of the Starship system. In 2024, SpaceX achieved more successful and refined launches with Starship. In March 2024, SpaceX conducted its third orbital test flight of Starship. The booster then attempted a boost back burn for a controlled splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico, but it experienced an explosion shortly before reaching the water. The Starship upper stage continued its ascent and completed its first full-duration burn, reaching a suborbital trajectory. During its coast phase, the mission included a series of tests such as the opening and closing of the payload bay door and an internal propellant transfer demonstration. SpaceX's fourth test flight of Starship performed better than all previous launches. This mission, conducted on June 6, 2024, marked significant advancements and successful achievements for the Starship program. The flight began with a successful liftoff from SpaceX's Starbase in Texas. Despite one of the 33 Raptor engines failing to ignite, the Super Heavy booster still managed to execute its mission. After the booster separated from the Starship upper stage using a hot staging method, it performed a boost back burn and then completed a controlled descent into the Gulf of Mexico, achieving a soft splashdown. This was a major milestone as it demonstrated the booster's ability to return to Earth intact, a critical step for future reusability. The Starship upper stage continued its planned suborbital trajectory without the rolling issues seen in previous flights. During its flight, Starship successfully demonstrated propellant transfer by shifting liquid oxygen from its header tank to the main upper stage tank. This test was crucial for future in-space refueling missions, particularly for the Artemis program's lunar missions. Starship also provided live video during its re-entry, showing dramatic views of the plasma field surrounding the spacecraft. Despite some damage to one of its flaps and the loss of many thermal protection tiles, Starship managed to complete its descent and perform a controlled splashdown in the ocean, marking another significant achievement for SpaceX. The fifth test flight of SpaceX's Starship is scheduled to take place on July 31, 2024. This mission, known as Integrated Flight Test 5, will involve Ship 30 and Booster 12. This flight will aim to further test and refine the capabilities demonstrated in previous missions, including an ambitious attempt to catch the Super Heavy booster using the launch tower, a method known as the Mechazilla arms. SpaceX's Starlink project has also continued its rapid expansion. By mid-2024, over 6,000 Starlink satellites were active in low Earth orbit, with more being added regularly. In June alone, multiple Starlink missions have been launched, adding dozens of new satellites to the constellation. This continuous deployment supports SpaceX's vision of providing global high-speed Internet coverage, especially in remote areas. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.